So, hello everyone, it's time for Don Mashi. I mean, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> Aisha, Harim. Oh, you know, I love Aisha so much, man. Aisha is like, bless me! <laughs> Buff me up! <laughs> so good. Uh, uh, but yeah, I guess we're gonna, maybe now we're gonna have, I feel this episode might probably be Rio's uh, Familia flashback, right? Yeah. Next episode had a little bit of a flashback. This episode probably has more of that i guess yeah last episode was like a tease oh here here's her sister and i was like whatever let's go on uh yeah so it's supposed to be three two one and go i find it strange how these kind of see now immediately it's like astra familia and it's like a fountain i guess yeah see this is saura hayami of course mama yor yeah mama yoto leon chan this is her best friend right i guess All her sisters. Yeah. It's kind of a weird episode knowing they're all gonna die. But yeah. A little weird seeing all of them being like, oh, <laughs> all teasing and cute and kawaii, and then they're all gonna get it. So you do have Amazons. Yeah, she was one Amazon lady. Probably got a boyfriend. <laughs> arra, arra. And they're all like, oh, you got a boyfriend? It's like that. Yeah, there's a bunch of girls talking about boys. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this, Familia? This is a bunch of ladies talking about their boyfriends. My God. Yeah, what is this guild? This bunch of like... Basically, sisters discussing their new boyfriends, yeah. But now then, they're gonna go and die, I guess. All of them. Yeah, now they're like, those evil who's got to do stuff down there, yeah, and now they're all gonna get killed, right? I wonder how much they tell us, right? I wonder if there's gonna be something new coming in there. I mean, give it a. We know they're all gonna die, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit like. I hope the flashback will reveal something secret. Maybe if someone survives and we can see you later. I wouldn't be surprised if someone maybe survived and she doesn't know that. Like maybe someone's in prison, right? Maybe it's gonna be that they took her sister. You know, maybe she's alive in a prison somewhere, right? You know, they kind of like Bella Mia in One Piece. <laughs> yeah. If you ever seen the, you know, the I haven't seen it actually, but I already know the meme, right? That like in the in the in the dub, right, of One Piece, Bella Mia gets in a prison, <laughs> all in prison instead of being dead, right? Yeah, the censorship version. Seems like a trap to me, yeah, I like this girl, she's like, it's a trap, right? Yeah, I like that girl. She's the Cassandra. Mm. She was like, it's probably a deadly trap though, guys. Maybe we shouldn't go down here? I think Alice might be alive. If someone's gonna be alive, it's probably Alice, given she's like the leader and... It's like her big Unesha, basically, like her... Oh yeah, she's gonna leave. This isn't a real flashback, now she's more like dreaming. Nese. Okay, we got all their names here. Raina, Selti, Iska, the Amazon babe. <laughs> okay, we got all their names. Yeah, we got all their names here. Okay, now we know your name is. Then she now wake up right in the... Yeah, the opening. That's a nice opening scene though. Yeah, see Alice last. Yeah, that's a goosebump moment there. And then we see the last scene with um, Alice. Yeah, and then it's like Alice, the main girl. But let's see, like, like I said, now, now they're gonna go down and die. I said it last week too, but I really wonder if they like. It's gonna be some new info here? Because, you, I mean, sure, it's, it's nice seeing her and her family and like, getting some things. But the thing is that because there's so many of them. Like, for example, I'm playing for Amazon right now, I'm for Engage, right? Uh, sorry, playing with last Friday, without out, yeah. Uh, if I am Engage, you got like, you know, 30. 40 playable cats, I don't know, but it is like 30 playable characters, right? And this is kind of similar. You're kind of going in here, here's a whole guild, bunch of waifus, right? Like 10 plus waifus, and then it's like, okay, you don't have time to get, you know, everyone's support scenes, right? Like for them, you can unlock their support scenes and get more of their personalities and backs or so right? This kind of feels the same, you're just like, here's 20 characters, but you don't have time to actually go in and look at everyone's personal, yeah, because here it's like, oh, Iska, this girl, this girl, right? You know, he's like all her family members, and then it's like whatever. 
Kaguya är också vår Kaguya. Jag ser mer screen time i det ofta då, men det är så hint där. Det är probably hint. Ja, yeah, Kaguya the kind of the samurai lady. She has or maybe something like a Japanese woman, yeah, Eastern. She has uh, more screen time during the opening. But it's kind of what I mean. It, yeah. I feel it needs to lead something else than just her having the flashback over all. Because it's too little info. Either we have to go in like a full episode, like a flashback, and learn everyone's personality or whatever, right? And know who they are. Or, has, or it has to be some point that some of them is alive or something. Or maybe a traitor, yeah. Maybe someone can be a traitor to watch Now that Kaguya was focused in the opening, I'm just like, hmm, is she a traitor? I assume it's gonna be other enemies coming. Eventually. <laughs> Man, this is too high level, it says. It's smarter too, it seems. Yeah, like it's a voice or something. Exactly, it's smarter, the higher IQ it is the motors. Yeah, exactly, a voice and so on. These monsters are very clever, yeah, they're kind of cunning little bastards. But uh, I do feel like it's probably gonna pull something worse, right? You see the sheep guys twice now. Oh, that hurt him. Yeah, he comes. In, uh, yeah, the next, uh, the next waifu saw me. <laughs> he had four more waifus. <laughs> but she only has waifus too. Yeah, there's so many female characters in Damasha. She only has three females too. Yeah, there's so many teams that are like on girls only. <laughs> yeah, there's like another like only female squad. Yeah, like. This is one of the anime that probably has the most female characters. My god, percentage wise, probably too. Yeah, like. Yeah, the, the cat, cat girl uh, team squads. Yeah, we got that girl in a cat suit, right? And a girl that spits like an a cat, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for the cat ears and. Um, Nikos. Nikom, Nik, Nikomimimis, yeah. And of course she speaks in the classic like, let's perfect it, she does that stupid, she does that classic, you know, cat language, she sees my animals, yeah, perfect, let's, uh, let, yeah, everything is, everything is like a cat, man, I, I'm watching with Substrap because that's first actually, perfectly, yeah, everything is like, it's Nico, Nico language, oh yeah, it's always fun, man. Tabun. Can't be cat bad, but I have to say I love it. This is fun to watch the translation though. Yeah, they try they try to make weird like English cat puns. It can't be it can't be bad, so yeah, they try to make stupid English puns. It can't be cat bad, yeah, it's like every line has to be a weird um But okay, so the other guys are probably really tired, like right? Oka looks really tired. Okay, Lily hits him in the bullseye. Lily Shah gets a bullseye hit. Yeah, they're very friendshipy. <laughs> Nakama! We're gonna save our Nakama! Why are we gonna die? Or like, Nakama! Aisha, ultimate waifu. Oh, look at her. Perfect woman, basically. Come on. Yeah. Listen to Aisha. Oh, so the voice of reason. And she's so calm and collected, right? She's always the voice of reason. Best, best waifu. Oh, that's not so good. I think she has less uh, clothing now. <laughs> it did burn a little bit, yeah. They kind of shrinked her bikini. Her bikini top is slightly smaller now. Yeah, they kind of like... Oh, it's like a horse. Oh, it's like a kelpie, I guess. Yeah, I call it a kelpie. I call it, yeah, kelpie. I call it, baby. Kelpie is an Irish uh, horse thing. It's like Necken in Sweden. Yeah, so it's a cup of iron, right? But you have the... So Sweden, you have Necken. Uh, Necken is like the, um, uh, yeah, more water guys. 
Yeah. So so necken is this like a horse. Oh, sorry, necken is like the kappa in Sweden and kappa course is like kappa. <laughs> I assume everyone knows the kappa is right, but you also got the other similar water monsters in other countries. And the kelp is like a horse then that pulls people down into rivers. So he's quite a yeah, quite a similar thing to a na- kappa. Uh, you can probably see a kelp in Berserk. Yeah, kelp is in Berserk, right? Uh, in uh, one of the orcs, in the church defensive orc, whatever it's called, village defense. Like, I can craft quickly! <laughs> I'm a blacksmith! <laughs> Improved ore! <laughs> like, I wanted to go on and craft. Like, <laughs> yeah, but basically, it's like he finds a better ore. Like, I can craft this shit. Yeah. He's like, cover for me, guys! <laughs> Sit there with a hammer. Like, like, I'm gonna build a better weapon quickly. Yeah, I got a super ore. Uh, blacksmith, blacksmith, you know, guys. You're like, how can I craft this right now? Um, what is that? Beavers or something? Utters? I guess so. I mean, it's very water based, right? Yeah, you got the Kelpie, you got the Utter, it's like. Oh, he's alive still? Yeah, this guy's alive. I mean, suppose he's alive, basically. Yeah, oh, he's, he's still there. Well, he looks kind of in here, though, but. Yeah, I'm surprised he's alive. Ice is also like you. How do you like to see? Yeah, the rest don't tell it, right? <laughs> tell me you killed everyone? No, it was not a person, no. A new boss monster. Exactly. Super, super secret boss. A special boss. <laughs> it's very video game, right? Yeah, someone summoned the extra bonus boss that we shouldn't fight yet, yeah. Someone summoned the level uh, 10 boss that's too early, yeah. It's like, ah, oh, I see, yeah. But we already know, of course, you're gonna be. But like I said in the last season, right, or last quarter, it is very video game, right? If you play, like, seven Fantasy, Wild Arms, whatever, right? You usually have those secret bosses you can summon, right? You play Secret of Man, you can summon the Super Black Rabbit, right? That's, like, extra strong and so on, yeah. It's very common in video games that you have that extra boss that you can somehow summon in dungeon, right? By doing something, like, like he did, of course, in this anime, so... And of course, Lily is like, not my bell! Not my bell! <laughs> That's good, Lily is having a breakdown. Not my bell! Exactly. Not my bell, Kun! Well, of course, we know it's a fake, though, but. And Cassandra's also, yeah, it's so lovely. I have. Um... I do like it to keep showing I shine so destroy I keep showing I sign her destroyed bikini, yeah. She got like the bikini it's like you know part of her bikini left only covering her. <laughs> it's like or you know a sash then, yeah, or orbit sash, but whatever, yeah. It's just like her, her bandage is like it's only like half left now, yeah. It's like I like how they basically <laughs> draw it around her. <laughs> it's like very, very specifically, it's like yeah, it burned in this area, so you can see you can just show her on the screen guys, because can just show her. I wonder if the light novel is makes her, you know, maybe it's less even less open with it. Yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah, she has no. I don't know. Maybe it's censored as right? anime. I, I would, I would imagine it's censored a bit. Yeah, like it's probably in the in the OG version, she probably has even less uh, of a, you know, arm or left on her. Yeah, probably. But he did pick up the ore. It's really obviously important. Yeah, I think so. Like, he picked up that thing. Have you seen much of Bell as one this episode? You know. Just the guy's trying to, like. Now, Bell basically only saw him for one, for half a minute, right? When he was defending against the sheep, they didn't attack him, so. Hmm. Yeah. 
Har du hyr med för att nog med alla ett svart under APV? Hyrna accepted väldigt stöd. Ja, man tänker så. Hi, Sharkor. Slås inte service. Åh, oh, fan, jag aldrig... Nej, <laughs> jag glömde att jag bara hade en man. Nej, 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 nej. Hi, Sharkor. Hi, Sharkor. Hi, Sharkor. Hi, Sharkor. Hi, Sharkor. Hi, Sharkor. Did you actually see them die? Come on, Aisha is like, you used to... Yeah. So he's gonna be like, no, maybe they did survive, he fell down a hole, yeah, he's gonna... Oh, we got a flashback? Yeah, okay, it's a bit lazy, but you know, way, way to fill out this a bit. He's the main character, though, he got the plot armor. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, from his perspective, he's probably dead. Like, oh, that guy got like, the, yeah, that happened. He flew down there, and yeah, I'm sure his his perspective. My God, this angle of Aisha, <laughs> this Aisha, <laughs> the finest line of clothing, the finest line of clothing protecting her. My God, they really do it. They're doing it on purpose. They like to stand there, showing her off, right? And it's the, <laughs> the final line of clothing protecting the ultimate woman. Yeah, come on. Oh God. I'll see you soon. Okay, now he's like, he, he possibly could be alive. If he's like the main character, he, with amazing luck or something. <laughs> Basically, he's like, he's like, I guess I played for him, right? He's like, with 1% hit chance, I guess they could have, he could have, he yeah, has like, he had the dodge hit chance, right, for him, yeah. I guess he theoretically could beat the boss by having like 99.9% chance to be critical and hit. But he could avoid it <laughs> yeah, ten times in a row. Yeah, it's like he could dodge it every time, I suppose. Yeah, it's like I guess it's impossible. It's a little bit like that. Yeah, it's like maybe if he has perfect luck, I guess he could survive. I think, yeah. Exactly. You own uh, you owe Rishan. Um, yeah, you own Rishan a uh, favor. Yeah. Where's the game in this corner? But yeah, Rishan. No, he's like, I can't say this. I'm so so depressing. A sliver of hope, maybe for all of us. <laughs> so it's just like maybe we won't die today. Yeah, I guess we have one percent chance to survive this. <laughs> She's basically like, there is a potential to survive this. And Lily is like, God damn, Aisha is carrying us. It's always Aisha is the one, uh, you know, the commander, yeah, carrying everyone. Yeah. Yeah, Aisha, I don't think we'll be done here, right? Aisha is constantly being the one that actually makes them do stuff. Clearly, she's the actual main character. But I think this season has surprisingly the bell, actually. This part two, yeah, it's almost nothing with bell at all. <laughs> And the first begins of Ryu, so yeah, Bell basically does nothing this season so far, right? This quarter. He's just gonna exist under with Ryu. It really isn't about him. But I mean, also the good part of Don Marshai is, is has good other characters, right? And it's, I always find it interesting. Not every anime, it's most animes, especially the and this many characters, right? So you have this guild of people and so on, the familia. It is very interesting if they give screen time and you know, introspective and reflection to the other characters, right? And not only like the main character. Um, but it depends, like, if you're watching an anime that has very few characters, right, then it's more, like, focused on maybe just some drama or something. Like a, ro like a rom-com, right, it's like one of the four characters involved, right, okay, obviously then it's a different thing, right? Yeah, Little Lily, give me some food here, I give me the breadcrumbs, basically, <laughs> give me the cookie, she has, like, nothing left, I guess. Yeah, she's just like, here, you can have a little, a little breadcrumb. But he's clearly gonna craft that thing he found. I mean, obviously. It's pretty straightforward. He found a new ore there. Or like a higher, better ore. Quality ore. Looks like. I can. In fact, it's hot, of course, too. I like the like. So we're gonna up us there. Is that what we want? They're like, yeah. If I, yes. Uh, goddess. Eh? <laughs> it's anime, man. All the, all, the, all the goddesses. Yeah, they're like, oh, we're the goddesses. Yeah, look at those uh, you know, blacksmith uh, waifu up us. Yeah, what's the thing? Uh, yeah, zooming in on her, um, the best part of Vitus. Yeah, he's gonna craft stuff now. Yeah, I can do it now, guys. 
Yeah, I'm gonna big like workshop. Yeah, it's hardcore blacksmithing. But if you ever play like Vovo so on, it's classic in Vovo that you sit there and do your own. Okay, I got Anvil guys there, yeah, but in Vovo it's pretty classic that you can you craft stuff during the in between, especially in the one E level, you will craft stuff like between the boss fights. Oh, we need more of this stuff. Yeah, I can like you know portable Anvil. I can craft this stuff here, right? And someone has like super cooking and here's my well, you know, my feeding and so on. Yeah, it's pretty common actually. They have some. Oh, gonna like make this robot like you know this like no gnome invention thing right so on. Yeah, that's pretty common actually. Exactly, adamantium or adamantin, whatever. Exactly, I found super ore. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna blacksmith this shit. <laughs> I found adamantium. I got like a Wolverine on this stuff. Yeah, here we go. I got super ore. <laughs> yeah, okay, next is gonna be the. No, it's like one of those uh, defensive. Uh, this is so video gamey. He's just like, I'm gonna craft here. You guys gotta protect me. It's gonna be one of those stupid stages where this guy stands in the back, right? You have to defend him and you have to reach him. He dies. And it's like, give me 30 seconds, guys. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those very classic video game stages, right? It's like a 30 minute defensive episode. We have to defend this person. He cannot move, right? Aisha is like, yeah, this sounds cool. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, can you do it, boy? Mm. Yeah, her fight is just like, you got the power, you got the metal. <laughs> yes, you got the fire inside of you. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of angle of Aisha. There's not very good Aisha upon this episode, but then the previous one she was talking to Bors on the side. Oh, the angle. I mean, I'm so, yeah, best episode. But this is great too, there's so many like under boob angles on that stuff. This is the episode of under angles on her, yeah. Like, it's like the fifth time you see like underneath uh, her... Uh... Oh, she's like, I felt it was gonna happen. Death is like, as I expected. <laughs> but how did she expect that? She was like, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, really? Yeah, but I like that this, this is so, this is so video game, you know. This is like stage seven. Protect this guy while he stands still for thirty minutes. Yeah, this is like such a video game uh, moment, you know. This is a classic video game moment. Yeah, if you ever play like you know, Starcraft, it's all throughout. Here comes the Zerg rush. You gotta defend this station until you know the Zerglings. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's like such a classic gameplay moment, straight up, right? Yeah, it's like super gameplay. Incredibly classic gameplay moment, really. It's not a good episode though, especially all the Aisha, Aisha Oppa is also a perfect episode. Um, I was thinking now, we have Spy Classroom coming, right? And I'm thinking of dropping it out of me, I don't know guys. Not only does, not, does the people care feel about it, it's like the first novel, but last episode was really weird, yeah. It was interesting when they had the grandfather fighting and so on, I don't care, okay, whatever, spoilers, minor spoilers, when they had like the fighting thing, but it was a very weird ending, like super strange. The fact that it skipped over a lot of stuff. And now everyone is like a source reader or complaining about spy classroom that are skipping over content and so on. And now I think episode next episode as it is now, it's gonna like go back and like re do something like in between episode two and three or something that they skipped over. It sounds really weird. So I might watch it, but I don't know. Um yeah. It kinda lost me episode three already. And episode one and two are pretty slow pace. As I said earlier with, with spy classroom. The only reason I watch it, I feel mostly because it has so many good. I mean, it has like the best voice of the cast. Yeah, it's so Sora, our Yuki, and so on. It's an amazing voice cast, right? But the anime itself is like really slow paced. Episode one and two, episode three was just really strange. It was like decent, entertaining fights. Yeah, episode three was entertaining, the spy stuff, but the storyline was like complete uh, wash over. Yeah, they were just ignored that. So I don't know. I'm too contemplating it. I think I'm gonna start watching it, right? And then I might just be like, ah, whatever, I'm gonna react to it. I might start ready to do it, right? And if I don't like the episode, I might be like, ah, whatever. <laughs> that's that's my that's my initial, like, huh. Because it was, it was like surprisingly, I was like, what is happening? But before that, though, or at the same time, we are gonna have, of course, uh, Onisha, which I love, of course, you know. Yeah, Yander Band Onisha is amazing. So I hope you guys subscribe for that. That's one of my, my favorite anime the season, right? Love gender bender stuff and uh, Unishan is fun, man. Yeah, it's a fun anime. It's like, well done too, um, really well done. Like it, for my, for my, from a pure quality standpoint, it might be the, actually the best looking anime this season. Like seriously, it looks fantastic, Unishan. 
so same studio made uh, uh, Mission Potential and it's really really well done so um, that's something I did drop the dog show yeah I said it briefly right I talked about last week too but I did drop the dog show because the dog show was terrible the dog show was terrible yeah you know me sitting here talking about my Aisha I'm like oh look at those Aisha yeah I'm sitting here right being all like hoo, 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 Aisha yeah I'm sitting here being all like oh my Aisha you know for like 10 minutes right uh, so you know I love etchy stuff I'm gonna say that yeah, you know, I've been sitting here with Aisha being like, yeah, let's go, <laughs> right? Aisha is some kind of badass, yeah. You know, I love Aisha, right? But the thing is that the dog, the, but that's a perfect separate thing. And the dog show, I'll say that again, because I'm making, a, I'm, I'm making a video about that separately. But the dog show is a perfect separate that. That the dog show to me is just like very, very soft hand, right? Yeah, or soft, almost, I mean, it's hard, it's soft hand, right? Yeah, it's soft hand, it has a terrible storyline, it's a dog or whatever, but the cat just cannot do stuff, right? Uh... I mean, it's not that interesting, right? Like, for example, I, for example, I love the Onisha and Yander Bender show because it's like Yander Bender, it's Kava, it's cute, it has some, you know, etchy jokes or whatever, right? But it also is like fun, you know, it's fun, it has some wholesome moments too, right? The dog show coming in like an hour from now is just straight up with a hand, right? Yeah, it has no storyline, it's just like here's a character and they're, you know, doing stuff. Yeah, it just feels really blunt and boring. And you you, you wonder why would I just wash a hand instead? That's kind of what you wonder, right? Like, why, why am I washing stuff for? Uh, but this is a great example, right? You know, Aisha, super hot, right? Super attractive, super badass, right? Super fun, yeah. Aisha has a fun line, she's a badass line. Most of this is a badass, right? You know, you know, I love Melona, so on too, yeah. Like, she's a badass wife, too, right? She's like, shut up, you're gonna save Gail Winch, you saved your life, you owe her a favor, right? Yeah. Aisha is like a cool wife, right? Because she's a badass, cool fighter woman, has, you know, strong personality, right? Yeah, that's why you love Aisha, right? Uh, compared to the dog show, where you're just like, oh, this is nothing, this is a nothing burger, right? So I dropped that show as well. <laughs> yeah, can I work it down the list here? Yeah, I dropped me two shows in Turkish. Now, I don't know. The, the dog show is a perfect example of like just really badly written female characters, right? Which is purely there for the etchiness. Yeah, it's, it's nothing else. And again, I like etchy, I like plot, right? But if it's only plot, like what's the point then, right? Yeah, there's, there's much of a hand, right? So, but yeah, I'm working on a video of that. But yeah, it's. I think it's an interesting topic. I think it's an interesting topic you can really reflect over because there's so many shows, right, that kind of fail to have, you know, cool waifus. And then Dalmasha has one of the best collections of waifus, right? So, but I think it's a good sample in this anime because here in Dalmasha, right, all the waifus can fight, right? I mean, it, it, the gods still do stuff, right? But ignoring the gods is done, right? But, you know, all the other characters, there are some kind of, oh, I'm level three, I can do this thing. Yeah, every character has some like, a class and they can all do stuff. I guess similar to mentioned earlier, Fire Emblems are playing right now, right? Similar to too, right? You have a bunch of waifus. But in that game, basically every wife is playable, right? So, you know, Lily, she can throw this stuff, this woman can run around, and she can jump on this thing. And yeah, they, every character has like a badass, a badass retreat, right? Yeah. And that's probably a big part of it, of making a character like Aisha be attractive. I'd say so. Uh, anyway, subscribe to that button. I'll see you guys soon with the Gender Bender anime. Absolutely.